cooperation between the United States and Japan reached a new milestone with the installation of hundreds of yards of subterranean fiber optic cable linking the piers of the U.S. Navy at Commander Fleet Activities Sasebo with those of the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. So the U.S. Navy has a, a, a system called the Navy Continuous Training Environment. What that does is allow the, the ship to, to be pier side but pretend like it's underway and pretend like they're under attack or they're going through various scenarios um, that you would see afloat or out in blue water ops. Um, as you can see, we uh, were able to extend a network out here to the JMSDF partners and uh, they'll be able to train directly from their peers by uh, pulling into India Basin. This project highlights the fact that the U.S. Navy's rebalance in the Pacific is not just concerned with ships and manpower of the 7th Fleet, but also with joint capabilities and partnerships with our allies. Petty Officer Michael Sanchez, Fleet Activity Sasebo, Japan.